Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my second Christmas spread of the year. So I'm using a kit called Sparkle by Harriet Wright Designs. I got this kit on a grab bag and it's the complete kit and I'm absolutely over the moon with it. The colors are stunning. So she combined, you know, the nudes, the browns, the, the greens and the reds and it just matches so perfectly. Also you have a lot of pinks, so that's those are the colors we're working with and I have to say that the washi is just absolutely adorable. I'm really happy with the washi. I might put some sparkle on it from Rose Color Days, but we'll see about that. So without further ado, let's get to it. So while I white out my um, sidebar, I just wanted to say that when I was using this kit, I noticed that there's a lot of, um, a lot of, quarter boxes or labels but there's not a lot yeah a lot of labels but not a lot of quarter boxes um a lot of full box i'm uh, sorry half boxes as well which is a good thing but yeah there's not a lot of um i don't know if her format changed it maybe did but just letting you know anyway when i was putting down the washi on this spread um I'm not sure I liked the washi the way it was. She she gives you two very thin strips or four very thin strips of washi on the kit, and I I think they are meant to go with the washi, um, the usual bottom washi, but I couldn't find a way to to put it there that would be cohesive or that it would look good. It just looked weird. Um, to be honest, I only saw two of the strips instead of all of four of them. I only saw the other pair a little bit later after I chose the washi that I wanted to use. So that might be it. But just be advised that the washi is, um, she does offer this um, two other washi strips. It would be good for hobo weeks, for example. As you can see on the screen, there's the, those are the, the strips that I'm talking about. I honestly don't know what they are for. Um... That's just my assumption. Anyway, I used the Simply Gilded Tone on Tone in green on the 10 millimeters, 10 millimeter size, just to make sure that it was, um, it it had some of the elements in the colors of the kit. Um, after that, I put all of my, I white out all of my dates, the dates on the insert to use the date covers because they were just too precious. The the color pink, the the pink shade that she chose to go with this um with this kit is just so adorable and i love the font that she used you won't be able to see it very well but the font is really really pretty next i put down all of my full boxes and the headers that come with the full box and i think it's just a combination of all the colors and all the sparkles it just looks stunning I really, really love this kit, and I think it's a beautiful kit for Christmas. So I also put down the full boxes on Sunday and Saturday and Sunday at the bottom, and I think it, they look they look really nice um, placed down the bottom. But so I might start doing this more often. Put the weekend, unless it's a double box, even if it's a double box, put them down um, on the lower side of the spread just to make sure that it's it looks good. That's my opinion. Anyway, um, this week was a good week. Um, I did. I didn't do a lot, but I did have a gr something great happening on the weekend or on a Friday of that week, which was a lunch with a friend of mine from work. So my previous position, um, she took my previous position when I left, and. COVID happened and all of that. So we haven't seen each other since, I think it was April. Ma yes, April. And I've missed her so much. We talk, we, we speak on a daily basis or at least more regularly than not. But I really, really missed her. And I'm so happy that the restrictions were some um, lifted here in Australia. And we managed to sneak that lunch in before we got another cluster and things are starting to get locked down again, which 
it, it, I thought it would happen. Anyway, Monday was Coffee Monday, and I marked it with a Paper Shire um, freebie. Also worked from home. I received some happy mail that day, and opened my advent calendar from Helen, which I shouldn't have, but I did. <laughs> uh, did some things on my game, and it was also bin night, which was good because my bin was really full. Um, Tuesday, it was work from home. I cleaned litter trays, and once again, I used the the fox and pip little cat um, to mark down that it was um, clean litter tray day. And I just adore that cat. He looks so happy. <laughs> it's a sleeping, you know, cats sleep a lot. But yeah, I really love the, the, the cat. Um, I used a half box to mark down the advent calendar day and put down the sticker that Helen put on all, all of the envelopes. I also used the Planet Beautiful Girl to mark down that it was the day to water the plants, and I love how she matches the colors of the kit. And I updated my trackers on my personal size planner from Motan, which I usually don't show um, here or on my Instagram. On Wednesday, Wednesday I had to contact. I shipped my my goodies from America, and I had to contact the shipping um, the company where I have my own forwarding address before I shipped them. And I have to say, I still don't get I still don't have them. Um, they were supposed to be delivered in two parcels, and I only got one parcel, and it's it it had one thing in it. So I'm talking to FedEx um, AU. And hopefully, I know it's, you know, end of the year, um, Christmas and all of that, but hopefully they didn't lost my box on the depot. I know it's in Australia, but I don't know if it made from one depot to the other. Hopefully it did, and hopefully they will deliver at some point. Otherwise, I don't have anything to show you guys as in the sense of holes at all whatsoever, because. All of my goodies from November and December were there. So my Simply Gilded box, my Rose Color Days box, cloth and paper, everything was there. So hopefully, please send good vibes that they find it and deliver it. I don't mind if it's delivered on the next year. I just don't want it to be lost because it's it it's a lot of money in there. <laughs> anyway, I'm not stressing too much about too much about it. Um, I called my mom, it was payday, which was great, and I uploaded a haul, and I also put the sticker for, for day 8 on top of the full box, because I forgot. Um, Thursday, worked from home, paid my credit card, um, cleaned the litters again, uh, watered the plants, and I put down the half box this time to mark the watering the plants, which was green, and I think it looks just so pretty. Um, and finally, day nine, I used the scallop, scalloped um, label size sticker to do a little bit of layering and add that background to the sticker provided on the advent calendar. Uh, Friday, it was pretty much a half a day for me because it was the day that I was going to meet my friend, uh, Sally. So, worked. Um, five hours, put down the stickers to from uh, the advent calendar and I made some layering with washi strips from the kitchen. I love the white um, tiled or white brick background of this artwork, I really do. I marked a half box, I marked my lunch with my friend with a half box from the kitchen as well as a fox and cactus um, sticker of two cats eating because I love cats and we were having a nice, healthy, not so healthy, uh, meal at the pub down the road. And it was just so good. I, I really miss seeing people that I like, if that makes any sense. I miss talking to people. I miss human contact, but I miss the people that I like. I don't miss going to the office and talking to random strangers about random things. That's not me. And 
I marked down this very tired, uh, with this very tired girl sticker. I marked down that I had food coma because I ate a lot and it was absolutely perfect. And I really, really enjoyed my Friday. It, I needed that time out and walk out from the house and actually see people. It was good. I even had a drink. Um, Saturday, I slept in, uh, did some grocery shopping, watered the plants again, and used a label from the kit to mark it down. It has this gingerbread kind of color and texture. That's that's what it reminds me of. So I don't know if I'm talking nonsense, but that's what re it reminds me when I put it down. Clean letter trays and did my voiceover and uploaded my previous plan with me that I will link down below or link on the screen for you at some point. Um, again, mark down my day 11 of my advent calendar, which, yeah, I've mentioned this before, I opened it in the wrong order, so I know all of the contents when I shouldn't have known all of them. <laughs> anyway. Um, Sunday I did a fun layering with a flag from the kit. I love the checkered colors of this flag and I put down an icon from Ellie Bell, Pl Ellie Bell Prints, it's an Australian shop, to mark down that it was cleaning day. So I did vacuum, laundry, mopped and washed the bathrooms. And I really like how the layering turned out. I was thinking about getting a full box with all of the tasks. I have some from Crafts by Tawi. But I think that the way I've done, it looks really nice. I really, really love the layering of the flag and the icon. Um, I filmed this plan with me that you were watching. I opened my advent calendar and again did some layering with that beautiful artwork. And finally, I called my mom. I used a flag from the kit and a little house from the Graceful Planner to mark it down. Finally, I made sure to put um all of the on all of the headers on top of the full boxes i made sure to put some sparkly um overlay tapes from rose color days that i got as a freebie and they look really cute to be honest and that's it everyone i think it looks absolutely stunning. I love the colors. It's not your usual color combination for Christmas, but I think Harriet made a wonderful job of the artwork and as well as the design of this kit and it just makes everything pop. The silver foil, um, little dashes of silver foil on the spread also really make it pretty and it makes it pop. And I'm really, really pleased on how this turned out. Um, if you have any questions, please leave in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I post every Wednesdays and Saturdays or Sundays Australian time. So if you have any concerns, please let me know. Stay safe, stay sane, wash your hands. Love you lotos and I see you on the next one. Bye.